Hey, I'm Nicole Gibson. I'm the CEO of Love Out Loud and we're building technology that's going to transform the world from fear to love. The greatest things that humankind have ever achieved have required an acute sense of focus. The Love Out Loud team have a vision and a mission to achieve the civilization of love by 2030. This was no different to when NASA decided the date, the year that they were going to put a man on the moon. Each person in their team went to work every single day knowing that that's what they were achieving. Technology that measures our belief systems and gives us a window into how those belief systems are shaping our world individually, as teams, and as nations. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I guess that's a crazy thought, to be honest. <laughs> and it doesn't take long, and it doesn't take much imagination before it starts to feel like sci-fi coming to life. We are at this crossroads, this intersection in human evolution, where we can either move towards closer towards a path of fear or closer towards a path of love. We can move into a system where governance has become totalitarian and the loss of freedom starts to manifest across the collective in our world, or we can use what we are currently going through as a population to propel us towards a civilization of love. Now though, the way that humans operate on planet Earth is no longer working and no longer sustainable by almost every measure. You know, 80% of the population feel lonely, um, but we're not really giving guidance on like preventing that. As Love Out Loud started to grow and I saw the transformation when introducing this concept to people between love and fear, teaching them how to build their awareness and capacity to choose love in each moment, it became a, a curiosity which became an obsession of the question, what if we could put this into a technology that made this accessible to everyone? How rapidly our world would start to transform, truly transform, when this could become measurable. And in truth is a way to allow us to see how much influence our thoughts and our belief systems have on everything that shapes our reality. And how when we can see what's shaping our individual reality, we can start to see what's shaping our collective reality in real time. Instead of using data and algorithms to make us buy more things, in truth is using data and algorithms to help us double down on what makes us human. Our intuition, our intelligence, our creativity, and our ability to cooperate with each other. 20 years ago, would you ever thought that we could have an iPhone that where we can touch and it can scan your face? So things are possible. And by 2030, it's a completely reasonable goal because We've got all the resources, we've got the data, we, like, we're on execution now. In Truth is building technology that helps you tap into the power of your body's intuition and innate wisdom. And as I started to really believe that that would be possible, that we could take this system that had been trialled and tested, in my case, on a million people, but really a message that has survived the millennia through many different prophets, leaders, humanitarian, um, you know, brilliant individuals over the course of our timeline in humanity, me seeing the application of how true that fundamental message is, yet never before have we had a system that can bring this to enough people to truly create that tipping point, a critical mass point to transform our world. And when I knew that that was possible, I, I knew that this is the direction that Love Out Loud had to go. The human mind is something that we've only scratched the surface of, and so far in our course of history, we continue to battle with the same challenge of just getting along. I'm excited about In Truth because of my background in human potential and exponential technologies, both fields that I've been studying since 2012. Revolutionary, innovative, groundbreaking. The more I learned about the intersections of technologies like artificial intelligence, brain-computer interfaces, ubiquitous sensors, uh, the more I realized how ill-equipped our existing systems are to handle the larger societal implications of these technologies. What excites me most about what InTruth is doing, aside from turning social media on its head and actually measuring our belief systems in real time, is the opportunity for us to end this cycle that's repeating through history 
of humans just trying to get along and losing so much creativity and innovation and technology and, and genius to, to conflict um, that doesn't need to be happening anymore. And so much conflict is based on people walking around in a state of fear. This is going to require not just a team, but a population, a movement of people committed to making different choices, to finding the courage and having the awareness to move humanity in a more altruistic direction. The team is made up of an incredible group of international people from all over the world, all on a mission to get up and live a purpose-driven life. And as I start Googling what you guys have done, I'm like, wow, like this is just such a huge movement. And it really gives you that full scope of who's involved. Um, so yeah, it just really feels like we're contributing to a better society. One of the reasons I'm so excited about being on the InTruth team is we're building the technology infrastructure that will help us create a new way to collaborate, do business, and really work with our own gifts. Modeling that vision of what work can really look like in that place, aligned, connected, empowered, that's something I'm excited to experience from within while we build and grow this business. Having a team rooted in non-toxicity and communication from love where everyone feels safe to, to speak their truth and to, and to develop and create an incredibly complex but very doable vision together has been just incredible. The team are tenacious, creative innovators. And the pace at which we're able to move through challenges and take on more exciting challenges and um, is, is just evidence to me that when teams can communicate from a place of love, so much is possible and incredible capacity and creativity and genius and ideas start to unlock in each team member that starts to scale so fast, it's breathtaking. Keep going, heads down, you know, just keep swimming. Um, but yeah, I, like I know, yeah, like the people like you and Nick and Marissa, like we're in the right hands. My why is to find a better way for humans to use their gifts to help others and to share that with as many people as possible. I see in truth as a critical piece in helping people understand what that better way we're going into like a whole new area. What if as a species, the time has arrived to graduate from the toddler phase of learning how to get along with each other and move into a new era of taking on bigger and more meaningful challenges with our combined superpowers to explore the true capacity of the human mind, body, and spirit, facilitated by systems based on this actionable force we call love. To build a, a world from a completely different place requires the capacity to make different choices and this is really what our technology is giving to people.